My mother was, she was the most remarkable person I ever met. You know, Reader's Digest used to say the most forgettable character, unforgettable character. She was that. She was a school teacher, and she was a singer, and she was an actress. And during World War I, she sang in a sort of a USO troupe with her little sister as a piano player and dancer. She was playing for the sister as a dancer, and she entertained. Then later on, she became a playwright. She joined the Yiddish Theater, was a very prominent actress in the Yiddish Theater in Winnipeg, and wrote original plays in Winnipeg, and at the same time was a member of Hadassah. To give you an idea, when she was young, they formed a young Judean chapter. And they came to her and they said, Rose, how would you like to join? She said, I will if I can be president. <laughs> and she was president. And from that she joined Hadassah. And she became president of Hadassah. And then she became president of Manitoba. And she became national vice president in Canada. And she traveled and spoke from coast to coast, from Vancouver to Halifax to Newfoundland. She spoke raising money for what at that time was hoping to get money in Palestine to, to get to a, a national homeland. My mother played the piano and sang. You know, not only did she sing, my mother, there was a radio program in Winnipeg called The Yiddish Hour, and my mother sang on that, sang Yiddish songs on that show. She was, and, and I remember going with her, she used to visit the Jewish old folks home there once or twice a year, and I went with her once. When she walked into that place, those old Jewish people just screamed her name. They loved her. Rushka, they used to call her Rushka, her Russian of, of Rose. Rush, Rushka's here, Rushka's here. And she would sit and she would play and sing all their songs for them and tell, and tell stories. They ate her up. And I looked at her with such admiration. A brilliant speaker with a great sense of humor and an entertainer. She was a combination of Golda Meir and Molly Pecan. She, she had she, and loved by everybody, a most loved person. She was speaking in St. John's, New Brunswick, I think it was, at the time when I had a radio show in Canada. And <clears throat> when she arrived in St. John's, she's met at the station, the railway station, by the press, because she was a visiting speaker. And uh, the, one of the reporters said to her, Mrs. Halperin, because that's my maiden name, Halperin, before it was Hall, said, Mrs. Halpern, we understand you're Monty Hall's mother. And she said, young man, where I come from, he's still known as Rose Halpern's son. Uh, when she died at the age of 70, the letters that I got from across the country, from people whose lives she touched, were remarkable, remarkable letters. She was a, uh, and don't forget, she not only was she doing all those things, but she worked in the butcher shop on the telephone all day, helping my father out by taking the orders on the telephone and so on. The last speech she made, she was living in Palm Springs. I retired them to Palm Springs. And a year, a year later, she was very ill. But she, had, she was going to fly back from, to Toronto to go to the hospital in Toronto, where my brother was. And she says to my father, I have an engagement. I promised the, the Desert Hot Springs Jewish community that I would speak for them. And my father took her, and she made her last speech. My father describes this when he, she came out to the car afterwards, she was white as a ghost. She was so sick, she had cancer. She was so sick. He got her to the, to the airplane, and she went to Toronto, where she died shortly thereafter. But even to the, to the last bit, she kept her obligation to speak. When she was lying in the hospital, I flew up to see her. And uh, she was lying in the hospital. I said, uh, she said well, so what are you doing these days? I said, well, I'm going to, I'm going to speak at this big Hadassah convention. And I've also got my first special on ABC television. And she lay there and she said, make it the best you ever did. And I said, the special on ABC? She says, no, no, the speech at Hadassah. Even then, she wanted the speech for Hadassah that took, took precedence, precedence over, over anything else.